Alright, this is working. Alright, so. Right, hey guys, welcome uh, to another one of my videos today. Uh, I was gonna, I might just call it Vlog Episode 4. Because I think I did Episode 3, yeah, I did Episode 3. Uh, this is Episode 4 then of my video log. And it's my PS4 collection so far. Which is today is the September the 2nd, 2014. So, uh, not long till Minecraft is available for either the digital download or physical copy. Anyway. So make sure you guys get it and actually, uh, yeah, send me a friend request on the PlayStation 4 on Ant Cobra 2123. Uh, that'd be really appreciated guys if you want to play in my server and stuff when I get Minecraft. Right, uh, so we've got that bit out of the details. Right, now what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you my collection of my PS4 games so far that I've collected. There's not many, so don't be a priest, like, don't be like, oh, it's going to bring out a load of games. No, because there's not many games that's been out for the PS4, that's the only thing on it. So, firstly, would be the first game that came out, I think, December, I think it was, when the PS4 came out, 2013. And that was Cold Zone Shadow Fall. I've, and yeah, well, basically that this game, and I think Knack was the one as well came out. I'm not too so sure, but you might have to check the details. I'm not going to put any false advertising and stuff on you. Anyway, um, Cold Zone Shadow Fall runs at 1080p. 30 frames, I believe, on the campaign, and I'm not too sure, it was supposed to have been on the multiplayer, it was supposed to have been 60, 1080p 60 frames per second, but I think um, Sony balls it up somewhere on the lines, and I think they got took to court or something, or they're going to be get taken to court because um, of the false allegations of the actual resolution or frame rate or whatever you call it by the companies but I'm not too sure uh, so check that out as well um, I don't know if I'm going to put it in the description I might do about it so you guys can check it out so that's yeah, I picked that up free owned uh, when I bought the PS4 I got that one for about I think 25 quid or something but it was 30 pound but I think he knocked a fiver off for me so he did it quite cheap and anyway. And that was my first game. It is a good game, though I am, I was a bit concerned by it being like 30 frames per second in the campaign. It's a shooting up game, to be honest, and like you're running around a lot, aren't you? Well, most of the time, anyway. Or some people like just to camp, but I don't like camping that much, to be honest, actually. I might do a montage video of Killzone uh, Shadowfall at some time, so do check that out. And, yeah, absolute brilliant game though, otherwise, I mean, graphically, the maps on it are quite huge, and they are colourful as well, so I suppose that's why they had the 30 frames per second there. If they tried to get 60 frames in there, I don't know, it might have been a little struggle with the graphics and that. But, to be honest, PS4, the way they did this game, because it was powerful at the time and that, what they could do now is actually they could render it at 60 frames now to be honest if they use the developers kits or something to optimize it a little bit better uh, not on about taking down the graphics a little bit but take some other stuff down like um, I don't know if there was any anti-aliasing in it or if they've turned the anti-aliasing off actually or the anti scropic filter I don't even know what they actually use in this to actually the, um, get the textures right so yeah. Anyways, that's a good game. I do recommend that one. Even though I did previously say in my video beforehand about I'm a bit disappointed with Destiny, um, which is coming out September the 9th, I believe. So that's next week, I think, something like that along the lines. Which, I don't know. I'm stuck between getting it or leaving it for a while just to see how well the reviews are going to be about it, to see if it's going to be any good. And, oh, I don't know, it's, it's going to be a hard, tough choice, to be honest, because it is supposed to be one of the best games out of 2014, heading into 2015. 
uh, I mean, Destiny itself is going to be like, um, a bit like Borderlands. I don't know if you guys have played Borderlands, but I started playing Borderlands 2 the other day. And I'm on the Ultimate Vault Hunter 2, I think, uh, or the first one. It's really hard anyway, because I've got to kill all these creatures, which are like doubled. So I'm like level 53, they're like 55, 56. Anyway, uh, moving on to the next um, game, I believe. I'm not too sure if this... I think that was the second game that came out, I'm not too sure. But I didn't get that, because I haven't got that one in my collection yet, so I'm going to wait till that comes down a little bit in price. But, I did get Need for Speed Rivals. Absolutely fantastic game. I think the graphics could have been toned up a little bit, maybe. Um, the cars are really good, the very good detail and stuff in it. And I like the rain and stuff, like the, the actual rain on there, where it comes on the cars and all that kind of stuff. Um, I'm not too sure if this is actually 1080p or not. It might be. I don't really check up on the resolution that much. Only on particular games that are actually quite popular. I mean, yes, okay, this is a popular game. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a hard um, choice to think about anyway. I do like the game though, it runs nice and smoothly on mine when I'm driving around in the cars, so that's all you really need to know. It's a very smooth game, I find anyway. Um, Alright, next game. Here's a paid, yeah I've got this half price, well not half price, I should say a couple of quid knocked off from the actual, because that is the, what is it, the retail price up here. And this is the sale bit here, £37 where it came down in sale. And this is Murdered Soul Suspect. I got this from Game, which is actually a game install, and it's actually in the UK. Um, I think it's kind of like um, that stop or whatever it's called. GameStop, is it? Yeah, I think it's GameStop. Anyway, um... I found this was kind of a bit cheesy to be honest because they didn't finish the entire game. It's like pretty much broken, it's a broken game, but um, I haven't played the entire campaign on it because I got to a bit and it just literally froze out for me so I thought no I'm not going to play it again. Um, but the actual disc itself, uh, was it? oh shit, I'm not going to put them up camera here. Yes, basically just like one of these like where it says murdered so suspect and all the details and stuff. Um comes up like about sign up to Square Enix and the company and stuff. And I think like yeah you become a member and all that kind of shit. I don't really bother with those kind of stuff actually to be honest. Um it's beyond me to be honest. Um, actually I didn't show you the disc on this either, actually on these two did I, um, because I like to show the entire game of what the actual disc looks like. That looks quite good, it's quite um, printable, like you actually see it been printed on really well. You can see where the um, the cars are here, and then you've got like a little, where it's all a bit wet there, when you can see all the shine coming off the wet floor of the lights, which is pretty cool, uh, cool actually, and uh, um, some games on the PS4 I find that they run a lot of gigabytes to be honest to install, I mean this isn't too bad, this is 20 minimum of 24 gigabytes, but once you download all the um, like cars and stuff I think they mount up eventually and all. Um, yeah, 24 gigabytes comes with the DualShock 4 vibration function, so it functions, so you get all the vibrations. <coughs> uh, actually, the Killzone one here I got, actually, which is, there we go, that is, that's nice with the little guy there and stuff with the machine gun or sniper or whatever it is, and then you've got the like, little drone next to him. And then it says Killzone Shadow 4 with the eyes. Oh shit. Things are coming out. 
I will be doing my PS4, um, PS3 collection actually. Yeah. Um, I'm, I bought a, a game today actually, to be honest. Um, and it didn't come with the second disc, and I'm still trying to find on the internet about getting the second disc on Metal Gear, uh, so the Legacy Edition or Collection or something, whatever it's called. I bought that today, but I'll have a look around for it. Eventually, it will turn up. <coughs> Right, um, my next game is UFC, it's an um, EA sports game, um, not known for their good connections to be honest, EA and that, I mean to be honest, um, Need for Speed Rivals was pretty good, I think that's from EA as well, and, but that was a lot better connection than this piece of crap here. Sometimes I can't connect to the servers and the server said they're down from EA and that. Um, the actual game itself, I installed this and this was about 20 gigs. I've only got about, what have I got about now? About 30 gigs left maybe, maybe 10 gigs actually even. Because um, I'm trying to keep off a couple of gigs off. Uh, ready for Minecraft because that should be good. But then I'm going to need it for my save files anyway because it's going to be huge. So I'm thinking about getting a two terabyte hard drive for the PS4. I don't know if that voids the warranty on it. I'm hoping not because you can replace them and take them out. Anyway, guys, let me know if um, they uh, are like voided warranties if you take out the hard drive and replace it with a new one. Um, I, I shouldn't see why not, just in case that hard drive fails in some kind of way, you can just get another one off the internet and replace it with that one. So it might be easier. Anyway, the servers on this, I've been playing the campaign and sometimes, I don't know if they've actually updated it or not yet, but I find it's kind of laggy like shit, like you can see the frames dropping quite a bit. I'm not putting anybody off, it's a good game and all. Um, I tried to go beyond the frame issues a little bit on it. Um, they do work out to an extent. I mean, I'm uh, playing through the campaign, the career mode, where I'm creating my character, kicking the shit out of people and that. Um, a good thing as well, you've got like women fighters in it this time, which is a good game. And, and I don't know if you can. I don't know. I don't know if you can sit or not. Oh, let me put my hand there to try and focus it. No. Anyway, what is it? Uh, I can't believe it. I don't think. So there's the creators of the critically acclaimed or acclaimed uh, Fight Night franchise brings you the next generation of fighting engineered for the PlayStation 4 system. Step into the octagon and make your opponent feel every strike. Take down and submissions. Um, I find the submissions are kind of easy to get out as well, apparently now. Because I've been online, I've had a couple of fights with people. And they've tried to put me in submission moves. And I've just like, literally countered their uh, moves a little bit. Not um, got out, but well, I got out of the uh, submission moves and that. Uh, they're pretty easy. I think you've got to basically wear down your opponent quite a lot to actually do anything about it. Anyway, um, my next game, which I bought, and I kind of like this. I know it's a kiddies game, but I couldn't resist it. It's the Hobbit game on PS4. I actually picked this up in Sainsbury's, uh, when did I pick this up, about two months going back, or a month going back, I've, and I picked up for, how much was that I paid, I think about 40 quid for it, something like that, anyway, uh, for this game, it was worth it, uh, you could tell the graphics was really good in it, even though it's um, a Lego game, like a lot of Lego games are supposed to look tainted and stuff a little bit. Um, but I found this absolutely fabulous. I think it's 1080p and 60 frames. I'm not too sure. Don't take my word for it. But that's what I'm, I'm on my channel. I try and give you a rough idea. So don't take the rough idea as an actual guess. Um, <clears throat> uh, it says here, battle the ravenous trolls, dangerous orcs. 
and many more uh, combine the dwarf's unique abilities to solve puzzles often with hilarious results explore iconic locations middle earth from the uh, shire to the goblin town and beyond um, it says one to two players so I tried to see if it was an online thing so you could play with a friend but I think it's just like a co-op type thing so that's the only thing it's on the back it says 720p, 1080i and 1080p so I presume it can, if it's not 1080p it can upscale work to it if you've got a HDMI cable um, and it's it's very very small as well it's 8.8 .8 gigabytes in total which is um, not bad at all um, which is a good game I do recommend it. the story is quite good it's actually based off the movies from what was it? It was the yeah Warner Brothers, is it? I think that's yeah one yeah Warner Brothers who made the uh, Desolation of Smog, and then you had the um the not Middle Earth uh, what's it called the, f the first original one. Um, I've watched both of the movies. I think they're fantastic. If you haven't seen them, guys, go and watch it. I recommend those two movies. I kind of like the original Lord of the Rings, like uh, the Two Towers or Twin. Oh uh, yeah, t Two Towers. And um yeah, the King one as well, which is a good film. Um they are on a line. If you watch the like the ultimate edition of Lord of the Rings, they can go on for I think twelve hours in total, like for just the one movie. Uh but they're worth it anyway, so it's like full yeah, so good good over oh, two, three days watching and that. Um right, my next game I've been playing a hell. I've been playing the hell out of it, and it's. I bought this the other day. Uh, actually, I bought this not the other day. Once, uh, I bought this like about a week and a half ago. I picked this up very, very, very cheap. I think it was like forty quid, fifty quid or something, like that. um, forty-three pound or something. Like that. Um, very good game. Ultimate uh, Evil Edition Diablo uh, Three: The Reapers of Souls. And you get like um, the original Diablo 3 with it. Plus you get the Reapers of Souls, which is the DLC version. And I heard they will actually bring some more DLC out for it. So I'm not too sure, but I'm hoping they will at some point. But I've heard some rumours about it. And on the back here... It's like... Uh, yeah, so there's some good stuff. It's a 16 plus um, game, but usually a lot of the parents get their kids these games anyway, so this keep them quiet. I'm not saying get it to uh, give it um, and that. Uh, there is um, a lot of blood and gore in it, so yeah, don't get it, to be honest. Um, yeah, this is actually on the digital download version of this. Um, a friend of mine told me it was about 65 gigs or 60 odd gigs to download and I think that's because it has the Reapers of Souls uh, DLC for it um, it's also got um, oh, where is it if I can find it um, stuff from The Last of Us on there like you'll go in there you'll find some creatures from The Last of Us and uh, some other stuff on there as well, some secrets and that. I haven't fully played the whole entire game, but I'm on my level, I'm nearly 17 or something, yeah, level 70 on there. So once I get to that, I'll unlock the Paragon, which is like the extra strength and you can level up beyond 70. A, pr a friend of mine told me it can go past a thousand or something, they said it's actually unlimited. But I think that was a PC version. I'm not too sure if it's exactly the same on the PS4 or not. Um, but if I find any information now, I'll put it down in the description below. Um, very good game, recommended by me because I've played enough of it, like about two two weeks worth. Yeah, two weeks worth. Um, my next game. Now I'm sorry this is a long video, but God, I've got a few details about it. I like to do it. Um, right, next game. 
is Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zero. And basically this is a pre-log, or semi-log I would say. Um, if you're going to go run through it, the whole entire game takes about 10 minutes, roughly 10 minutes, to run through from start to finish really fast. If you're going to do a quick, like, run on it. If you're taking the time, two hours maybe the max. Plus there's other bits and pieces in there like uh, special missions and that. Now this is the... Before the new game comes out for 2015. And it's uh, the Phantom of Pain which is coming out um, next year. Which I'm looking forward to because I love the Metal Gear Solid games. I love them from the original Playstation 1, the original map. The PSX or PSX1, how you want to pronounce it. And I love the original PS2 version of it. And then you've got the PS3, um, yeah, PS2 games like you've got Metal Gear Solid 2. And then you've got Metal Gear Solid 3, which is, um, and then you've got like all the other games which were on the PSP and all that kind of shit. Anyway, um, I'll try and do this as quick as possible because I know you guys don't want to watch me right through. Anyway, um, the next game is Trials Fusion. Absolutely fantastic game. Been playing a lot of that. Um, loads of tricks. I've bought the season pass for it, and I think it's absolutely well spent. I paid I think thirty three pound thirty five something like. That. Very good because it came with pretty much. Um, a one year of additional content including six DLCs which I haven't um, downloaded all of them um, I've only downloaded the first map pack, I know the second one has just come out uh, I might do some videos on that at some point so look out, uh, out for that too as well uh, and you can see me how shit I am in the game uh, but that's why I'm going to do this because I love playing games that I'm shit at because it entertains you guys Alright, and basically with the season pack, uh, pass, um, it's a deluxe edition, includes the game plus the season pass, six DLCs including tracks, new bikes, parts, rider, gear, new items for the track editor, uh, crater hazmat suit, light up the skies body kit, and this is actually not too bad, it's 139 megabytes minimum. Minimum, yeah, there we go. And it's on PS4, so if you guys like to um, download the game, or actually buy the game, uh, it's entirely up to you, but I do recommend that game as one of my favourites, um, even though I'm shit at it, but there we go. Right, next game is Thief. Now, this is the third game, I believe, of the series. And I, so far I've got to near the end where you've got this woman who's um, in the asylum and she's trying to kill you and all that kind of stuff. And it's it's a good game. The, it's out on PC as well, so if you've got the PC version, you might find it's a lot better. Um, I do find that it's I don't know, it's kind of a little laggy, maybe frame rate um, wise and stuff. Uh, I wouldn't say it's the best looking game, but it's not the worst either, if you see what I mean. Um, this is says 1080p on it, like 1080i, 720p. To be honest, I would like the developers to actually make the game and actually do what they did with the PS3 to put on there whether it's 720p or 1080p, because... All I've seen on so far on all of the games it says 720p 1080i and 1080p which to me if it's a seven if it's a 720 game it should be 720. Um anyway, right, next game this is a good game though, it's like a horror type um going around thieving stuff out of the houses and trying to get away away with it with stealth and all that kind of stuff. So 
basically that's the short version of it. I probably will do a review about it. Um, if you guys would like it, if you do, do put it at the bottom, and I will do a video to go with it as well. Right now, I picked this up because I wasn't too sure whether I like it or not. Uh, it's not my kind of thing because I'm from the UK and I don't watch NBA at all, so I have no clue um, who's the top um, guy in NBA at the moment. Um, I've heard of uh, LeBron James or something, or LeBron James, uh, I heard he was alright, um, but I'm not too sure, but, um, this, there's two copies of this, two different ones, you've got the NBA Live 14, and then you've got the 2K Sports one, and uh, I'm not too sure, because I haven't got the 2K Sports one at the moment, but I don't know whether the EA Sports is the popular one, from EA Sports NBA Live 14, um, or if the 2K Sports is a lot better, um, what do you guys think? Do you think it's a lot better? Uh, if you do as well, put that at the bottom of the uh, subscription at the bottom. Um, right, next, which is one of my favourite games, I've completed the hell out of it. I've just got to do it on uh, Goody at the moment. And you've guessed it guys, it's infamous, Second Son, absolutely fantastic game, graphics are good on it, um, I was actually quite amazed at the detail, even though it's 30 frames per second I think, or um, if it's not, I think there's a one where you can, no I don't think it's 60, um, 30 frames, um, 30 frames per second, it's I believe it's 60, but they've put it on so you can cap it and stuff at certain, so you have a smoother frame rate, so you can have a better play of it. Um, it's a good game. Uh, it says it's 1080p. Uh, 1080p is pretty cool, actually. It says here 480p, 720p, 1080i, and 1080p. I mean, to be honest, who would play this game in 480p? Anybody? No, me neither. Um, just takes away the quality of the game. And I don't think this would work on a regular TV anyway, is it on the PS4, would it? Um, like an ordinary TV. Old standard tube TVs. Oh my god. You ever had a tube TV? You ever seen what it is? Oh my god. Hurt your eyes. Bad. Um, it is a good game. I bought this, um, as the special edition and basically I had the hat with it as well so it comes with the hat got one of these like um you see his hat there one he's wearing had that on there as well um also comes with some extra stuff like DLC content and it comes with the main disc which is quite cool um actually a bit disappointed it didn't come with the actual soundtrack. I would have liked the soundtrack because I like it inside the game. And I think it's quite cool actually. It's very soothing and stuff. And it moves a little bit as well when you're in the action and stuff. So it's really good. Right, uh, down to my last two actually now. So that's so far. I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 games there. And I bought this for the PS4, which is Call of Duty Ghost, and this is the Tactical Edition, or actually Prestige Edition, I should say. And this is the PS4 version. Now, it, I bought this on the internet, and it was £60. £60. Great British pounds. Now it comes with everything on there. It comes with an extra case, just in case your box gets broken. It's like a limited edition case, um, well, hardback case on it. And then you come with the camera, which is 1080p, uh, 720 or uh, yeah, 720, 60 frames, or 1080, 30 frames per second. It comes with the DLC content, the season pass. And it comes with the soundtrack as a digital download, which is absolutely fantastic game. I think I'm not too sure if I've done an unboxing of this, but I will do it at some point. Um, 
but at the moment I'm just doing this video for you guys of my PS4 collection and last and the best which I bought for the PS4 is Watch Dogs Dead Sick Edition and uh, it's the PS4 edition as well, so it's a dead set edition. Basically, comes with um, because actually, it comes with the game, all the DLC, um, a couple of DLCs like the jackets and stuff. Not doesn't come with a season pass because I don't think there's a season pass for it to be honest. Comes with a hardback book and all that kind of stuff. I've already did the unboxing of it. Um, on one of my videos, so if you want to check that out, just put in Watch Dogs, my name and stuff, and Dead Sec Edition. And yeah, it's basically it at the moment, and including my DLC games, that I've, my downloadable games, which I've got at the moment, which is um, Child of Light, which is a DLC or a downloadable game, I should say, not DLC, because DLC is the content for an actual add-on for a game. Um, so basically I've got Child of Light, I have, um, I've just started playing the new Silent Hill demo, so I might do a video of that um, game as well. Very scary game as well, I actually kind of jumped a few times in there, because a friend, um, I actually recommended a friend to play it, and he done it online on one of his um, Twitch channels. Um, yeah, I've got a Twitch as well, so if you guys want to um, watch me on my Twitch or want to uh, sign up on my Twitch and follow me, it's, uh, was it, Mr. WrestleManiac, um, not Maniac, WrestleMania HBK09. That's Mr. WrestleMania HBK09. And I do a lot of live streaming on there. Uh, you can also uh, get me on Twitter at Ant173087. And that's on, that's Ant20, yeah, um, 1723. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, my God. Never mind. Actually, I'll put it in the description for you guys anyways. Um, because I've got a bit of cold today and flu. That's why I'm, uh, yeah, a bit fucked today. Um... Yeah, if you guys um, like the video, like the quality of the games that I've bought so far, I actually I've been playing Call of Duty Ghost online, and I've been playing some of the the campaign, and I was kind of disappointed. I like the campaign, I like the online multiplayer. The multiplayer is shit online, though. To be honest, um, the servers I thought the servers were going to be dedicated, but they're actually crappy dated. So that's hashtag crappy dated. Um, the actual campaign itself, I found out there's a lot, a lot of bugs in it. And it's been out since like December, November, actually no, it's November. Well, November for the original consoles, but when the console came out for the PS4, back December. So, um, yeah, it's very shit. Um, it's been out for like more than nearly a year, nearly a year on this game, and uh, yeah, I'm kind of disappointed. Uh, and they've got the new Call of Duty around the corner, and I'm thinking, I hope they finish this goddamn game before they move on to the next one, because they're already on to the next one already. I'm just wondering if they're going to finish this game or first, make sure there's no bugs in that, to be honest. Otherwise, I'm going to be really annoyed about it. And I'm sure you guys are going to be annoyed by it as well. I don't know if you guys had any problems where you played the campaign where it starts freezing up. I've updated it to the latest version as well for the latest update. And it seems to still do the same. Like, I, I managed to complete the campaign, but barely. Uh, I've got one of my videos on there, which I uploaded the other day about it. Um, of my Call of Duty Ghost is shit, it's called. And you'll see why, because you'll see where it's actually goes out crank, uh, cracked a little bit, cr like cracked in the actual system, like a system error or some shit. Anyway guys, uh, if you do like this video, 
subscribe to my channel, uh, comment at the bottom of the screen, and press the like button, which I think is down here somewhere. Um, and yeah, um, share to your friends, your family, uh, your colleagues, even to your dog if you like. That's if he likes my show as well. <laughs> anyway, uh, guys, uh, cheers for watching, and thumbs up, and cheers for watching.